Dibley family has been dairying farming in Rotorua for over 130 years. Mark is the fourth generation of the family to farm their 234 hectare property that enjoys fantastic views across Lake Rotorua. Mark and Sophie milk around 570 cows and like other Rotorua farmers, they're coming to grips with the challenges of farming within nutrient limits. Growing chicory as a fodder crop instead of turnips is one of the solutions they're trialling to meet these limits. We went to chicory because um, it is going to benefit us for our nitrogen leaching off the farm, uh, more so than what turnips did. We planted 15 hectares of chicory this year. It's the first time for us and it's for one herd. So we've got 450 cows on the chicory and it'll keep us going for about two or three months. I had to get my shear milker on board and I thought perhaps half chicory, half turnips for the first year. Um, he was happy to go the full whole chicory way, which we did, and we're quite pleased that we did. It was quite critical of uh, planting time with chicory. The soil temperature has to be about 12 degrees which is usually um, mid-Octoberish around here. We spray the paddocks with Roundup, kill everything out, then we just go straight in with the drill and drill the seed. The direct drilling will help our nitrogen and phosphorus losses, mainly because the paddocks don't get turned over and you won't get the leaching out of the soil. The other benefit is when it goes back into young grass, we will just drill straight back in as well. So there's no tillage of the soil. Chicory does grow quite fast, um, so it's about eight to 10 weeks once it's drilled, and then we start grazing it. This paddock here was sown about three to four weeks ago, and you can see it's taken off really well. The optimum grazing level is seven to nine leaves, and at about 30 centimetres high. The chicory grows pretty well in a drier summer as well, because it's got a longer tap root. This paddock will be ready to graze in a week. The cows come into the chicory after their morning milking and they're on there for two or three hours and then they go off into their pasture for the day. They're getting about 0.9 of a hectare in this uh, break for the day. On the plus side, you can graze chicory longer than turnips. With um, turnips, you graze right down to the dirt. You graze it once and it's finished. Chicory, you graze several times. Um, once you graze it, you've got to be back onto it within 17 days. After 17 days it tends to get a little bit more woody and then the cows won't eat it and it won't be as palatable. We have decided that we will regrass again in the autumn. Turnips usually goes back into grass a bit earlier. It won't make much difference and you won't be milking on it anyway until the spring. We've been grazing the sugary for eight weeks and we've noticed that the milk production has gone up a bit. The cows tend to like it, it's uh, very leafy and they seem to be loving it. An overseer analysis indicates changing from turnips to chicory reduces nitrogen leaching by 1 kg per hectare, averaged across the whole farm. This is largely due to avoiding conventional cultivation at crop establishment. Farmax analysis indicates that chicory, compared to turnips, improves profit by about $34 per hectare at a milk price of $5.80 per kilogram of milk solids. You can find out more about this good management practice below.